Sleeper will be wide awake soon. Damn, I'm not causing the slightest damage. I need another. Now you will die. I'd better get out of here fast.
I have found a way into the underground temple. You have? That's remarkable. You have become very powerful. Stronger than anybody else inside the barrier. Maybe you really are the man the Orcish prophecies told of. Prophecies? What prophecies? Ancient Orcish documents written shortly after the sealing of the underground temple mention a holy foe. A holy foe? Someone who shall come to drive the sleeper from our world forever. I am supposed to be the one mentioned in the ancient prophecies? You must be wrong, surely. Maybe, maybe not. I found this strange sword. Show it to me. That's interesting. It has Eurizio written on it. I've heard of this sword. It's a weapon from the olden days, when the human race was still young. The weapon was forged from an unknown material, and there's nothing written about who created it. This blade was said to possess unbelievable powers, but I don't notice any magical aura. Eurizio possessed unbelievable powers? It was written that the owner of the weapon was able to pierce the strongest armor and to overcome even the most powerful of protection spells. How could the orcs get this powerful weapon into their hands? It's claimed that the orcs took it from a powerful warlord. They didn't know how to use it, but they did hide it. But they didn't hide it well enough. Is it possible to restore the former powers of the weapon? You need a very strong magical source of power for that purpose. You mean strong enough to detonate the magic barrier with? About that strong. Besides, you'll need a very special magic formula in order to transfer the power. Give me some time, and I'll create the magic formula. Meanwhile, I'll be hunting around for better armor. These patchwork minecrawler plates have been pierced too often in the underground temple. You should go to my old tower. Your old tower? It sank below one of the eastern lakes during one of the earthquakes. The spires are still visible above the surface. There are still some artifacts inside it. I never made any effort to salvage them. How do I get there? I haven't been there since the earthquake, which means you'll have to find a way to enter it yourself. But take this key. It opens a chest in which I used to store some particularly rare artifacts.
I see. You're wearing the ore armor. I found it in one of those old chests in the sunken tower. It belonged to the general who wielded Eurytziel in the battle against the Yorks. I hope it'll bring me more luck than it did him. Have you completed the magic formula to reactivate Eurytziel? It's done, but you won't be able to use it by yourself. Why not? It has to be spoken by a magician while you touch the power source with the sword. Then I'll have to look around for some support. Take the formula and restore the sword's former power. You'll need it. Greetings, my friend. I haven't seen you for ages. Hello, Milton. A lot has happened since we met the last time. 
I would like to tell you everything, but I don't have the time right now. I'm in a hurry. Milton, I need your help. What's up? How can I help you? Let's go somewhere where we can talk. Fine, follow me. Now tell me, what is it? I need the magic powers of the ore mound, and I don't think it would be a good move to ask the other magicians of water. You're joking! This is no time for jokes. I'm deadly serious. I've seen Zardas, the necromancer. I'm working under his orders. Zardas? You're beginning to scare me. Nobody has spoken to him since he left the old camp. I have. What do you need the powers of the ore mound for? I want to transfer them to this sword here. Wow, what a weapon! Its name is Euritzeal. Zardas gave me this magic spell to carry out the transfer. You will have to recite it while I bring the sword and the ore together. Mm. Mm. It looks as if I only have to read out this spell, but we'll get into trouble with Saturus and the other magicians. We'll have to take that risk. It really is very, very important. Important for all inhabitants of the colony. I don't understand. It will get us out of here. You have to trust me. All right. After all you have done for us, I trust you completely. Besides, it seems Zardis trusts you as well. Meet me down at the ore mound and don't tell anybody. Good. Let's meet at the ore mound. See you there. Hello. Can you teach me something? I can help you to get stronger and more dexterous. You're at the end of your possibilities. You should learn something different. You're at the end of your possibilities. You should learn something different. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it.
Have you got the sword and the spell? Here, take the spell. Are you ready? As ready as one can be for this crazy plan. Then let's do it. It's done! Unbelievable! The plain gray gem is shimmering bluish now. That's a good sign! The magic powers of the ore mound really seem to be in the old sword now. But our little operation here seems to have attracted some attention. You should teleport yourself directly out of here. What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll think of something. Go now! I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. It wasn't very clever. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Scoot! Or I'll call I knew the that somebody would try to get at us through the pentagram. But, unlike that traitorous smith, Stone, we don't Guards, need you here. anymore. Where is Stone? Behind bars. You've no business but in there. You're gonna be six feet under in a minute. Get him, guys, and slice him up. <laughs> How did you get in here? Hang on. Aren't you the one that fought our men in the free mine? Your men had no right to invade it. I just corrected their attack of megalomania. Talking to me, Gomez, in that way, shows some courage. But it was foolish of you to turn up here like that. I will personally take care that you never get in my way again. Again? 
I should have drowned you in the lake the moment I set eyes on you. I didn't stand a chance back then. Now the tables are turned. You worm. I only hope you don't make it as easy for me as you did the first time. What do you want? You don't look like one of Gomez's henchmen. You're right. I'm not with Gomez. Then how did you get here? Gomez had the key to the dungeons. He gave it to me. Are you trying to tell me you're the guy that wiped out Gomez? That's me. Boy, I never thought you had it in you. But I'm glad the dirty cutthroat finally got what was coming to him. But why are you releasing me? I just heard you've been locked away and I thought I'd take the opportunity of getting Gomez out of the way and rescuing you. Well, thank you. I'm much obliged to you. Come and see me at the smithy. We can talk there. I'll see ya. I'll see ya. There you are. I owe you for getting me out of that rat's nest, man. You know, I was thinking, there's not much I can give you, so I'll forge something for you. Maybe a ring or some such thing. Why did they lock you in the dungeons? Gomez, the bastard, claimed I was in cahoots with the fire mages. The only reason he didn't kill me is because I'm the best smith in the whole old camp. So he threw me into the rat's nest and only let me out when he needed me to make something for him. Can you reinforce this ore armor for me? Sure I can. Hand it over and hang on a minute. Here is the reinforced armor. We're quits now. I'll see ya.
What are you doing here? I'm making sure no swamp sharks come too close to the camp. If I were you, I'd steer clear of the beasts. You don't stand a chance against them. Now, don't disturb me anymore. I need to keep my eyes peeled. Awaken! What's going on here anyway? You're asking me what's going on? Throw yourself into the dust and pay tribute to the sleeper. Because at this very moment, he awakens to banish all infidels from this world. You can't stop me. Whatever you say, boy. For the sleeper.
Thank you. 
Oh, my God.